Hey everyone, welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today I wanted to go over what camera gear I use to shoot videos. Stay tuned. So as I was saying, I just wanted to kind of go over what I use to shoot videos. So I'm currently taking video on my Samsung uh, S20 Ultra 5G. Now it's got a really nice camera on it, uh, pretty stable. It's got nice stabilization. If you're moving around, it's pretty smooth. And then this is the stuff that I use uh, if I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, something where I'm detailing a car, working on it, what have you. So I have uh, two different size tripods. Uh, this one is, uh, I believe, a Canon tripod that my brother, Dan IT Guy, gave me. Shout out, Dan IT Guy. And then my wife got me a, this is just the Amazon Basics uh, tripod. Pretty simple, but it is it is uh, kind of in between size. Um, it, it works real nice to have a couple of different size tripods, uh, for me at least, to be able to have different angles. You know, you want to be able to look up or look down on something. This one here goes up to about five feet. So that one's really nice to, uh, you know, if you're doing shots of yourself. And then if I go out to the track, what I was using prior to having my S20 Ultra is a, it's a Moza. Oh, come on. It's a Moza brand, M-O-Z-A. And this is a gimbal. This thing here will balance your phone and then you can use this to make it turn left or right. Uh, these are pretty cool. It's got a built-in charger, a little tripod can actually screw onto the bottom and you can set it up and have it uh, use that as its its own little tripod as well. Uh, but I was using that and I realized at Rocky Mountain Race Week that this phone is too heavy for that. And this thing started going, eh, and it freaked out. And I checked to make sure it was balanced because that's part of what makes them shake uh, if you run into that issue. But it's just this phone is too heavy and it just wouldn't work. It kept uh, honking out on me. So, and then recently I purchased a GoPro. Um, here is my here's my little carrying bag first before we get into the GoPro. But uh, here's my carrying bag. This is you know when I'm heading out to races or doing whatever. Here's a quick bag that I can just grab and go take all my gear. I have a uh, extendable, uh, basically like a selfie stick. I was running a Insta 360 camera for a while. I still have it, but. I just didn't like the quality of it as much, so I kind of use that sparingly. And then I have uh, another mount here that I use for uh, when I'm doing my live streams. I Sometimes I use my camera to either look at my car or use this as my main camera, which is my phone. Uh, I put this little mount on here that's completely adjustable for whatever size phone you have. And then I have the adjustable legs. You can put them, twist them anywhere you want, bend them all over the place. These are, this is really nice if you're uh, in a, a strange place trying to get a shot. That's kind of hard over by my cluttered desk here to get this set up. So it's nice to be able to move those legs however I want. And then here's this little bag that I recently purchased just to try and stay a little bit more organized as I move forward in my journey to uh, keep pushing forward in YouTube. So let me go ahead and show you what's in here. I have, these are awesome. This is a Joby mount. This actually will suction to your car. It will go to your windshield or to the side of your car or hood or trunk, whatever you would like it to do. These stay on really good. I've gone up to 80 mile an hour with this on. Not that I go 80 mile an hour, but uh, I punched it. I've done everything and it's not fallen off. So Joby, shout out to you guys. This is a great little uh, tripod as well with a suction mount on it. And then I've recently purchased uh, this one here is a chest adapter for my GoPro. I have a GoPro. Oh, where did I put it? Here we are. This is my GoPro Hero 8 Black. This is what I'm using. I'm going to get the mod. I don't like the microphone whatsoever on this thing. Uh, it doesn't seem to pick up stuff unless you shout at it. So just an idea for you guys. If you're picking up a GoPro, get the mod that's a case that goes around this that enhances that microphone. So I have my little spot for my GoPro. This is my chest mount. And then I have my head mount right here. And as you can see, there's nothing on here right now. You can actually get um, 
this one here came with this little slide in piece and you just mount your GoPro to that. There are these little pieces here. You can buy like a four pack for, I think it was five bucks on Amazon and these will screw to anything that has the normal size uh, camera mount screw. They work really well for mounting your GoPro to pretty much anything. And then let's see, here's the little tripod that I can put on the bottom of that uh, Moza stabilizer or gimbal. So you can take that and I can put my little gimbal right on top of there. Then I just recently purchased this. This is for my GoPro. This attaches to here. So this will actually grab on and I can use my GoPro on my gimbal and it's counterweighted. So you don't have to worry about it sagging or trying to get the GoPro to stay in here because it won't. It'll just flop out of here if you don't have this piece. So that one was pretty cheap. I did purchase the extra battery for the GoPro and the two battery charger, which is right here. Simple little two battery charger. Comes in handy because as you guys know that have GoPros or that use them, boy, they can burn up the batteries in a hurry. So I highly suggest that. I, my GoPro did come with this and I have a neat idea. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Let me show you what I was thinking here. Just for a fun perspective, I want to take my little uh, revved up RC car there. I want to mount this on top of it, put my GoPro on it and go rip that thing around. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a video with that thing. I think it'd be fun. The other use I had for that, putting it on a, an RC car, would be if I'm wondering what's going on underneath my car and I can get an RC car that's small enough to, to go under there, if I mount my GoPro on it and point it up, I can slowly drive it under there and look all the way front to back under my car kind of as an inspection. So another idea I came up with for, you know, checking your car out and having something kind of fun to do, do some burnouts with it underneath the car, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over what I have set up here, what I use. So if you like these videos, please let me know. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for coming as I head into this full time. And I'm going to try and bring you more content every day. I did have a request from Scat Pack that said uh, he wanted to see me edit a video. So coming up soon, I will be editing, editing a video and I will show you how I use Movavi software, which I'll leave the link down below for that if you want to uh, check out that software. That's what I use to edit these videos. And uh, I will go through step by step how to edit the video or how I edit videos uh, just to give you guys a little glimpse into how these things are made. Well, I appreciate you guys. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to click the subscribe. And uh, I'm also on Instagram at MyDestroyer1320. You can reach me an email at MyDestroyer1320 at gmail.com. Appreciate you. See you later.